Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz6510 Models and on the workbench today I have this Airfix Construction Kit Catalogue 6 Edition which is roughly around 1969. Inside this catalogue is the complete range of what Airfix were producing back in the day. If you've not been on this channel before, basically I have been going through my stash of old catalogues that I collect and I film them page by page so that you can watch them and enjoy them and see what was being produced in that era. So this one here is a 1969. So you're just talking around like the space race. So the man had just landed on the moon or was about to land on the moon to uh, fulfill the prophecy by, or it's not for prophecy, what's the word? To fulfill... Um, JFK to say that they would get a man on the moon before the decade is out. Anyways, this catalogue here is cram packed and basically all you need to do if you want to watch this video in the best quality, just go to the cog settings, click quality, select 1080p. If you want, the, if you think if you think I'm flicking the pages too quickly, just slow the video down. You can do that by going to the cog again. Click play, playback speed and select either 0.5 or 0.2. Obviously, you can pause the video at any time to see what's on each page and then click play when you finish looking at that page. Only 10% of the people who watch these types of videos are actual subscribers and it would really help the channel if you just could just click that subscribe button and then if you want to be notified when they go live, these videos, just click the bell. And it will also help the channel if you can put any comments as well. If you've got any thoughts or if anything's caught your eye that you remember building or any problems with any of the builds, just put them in the comments and I do reply. So let's start. This is the Airfix 6th Edition 1969 catalogue. Enjoy.
that was the FX catalog. It's a lovely catalog and it's a little bit thumbed through as you can see. It's it's had it has been thumbed through a lot. So the this one here, the it's it's a little bit loose on the on the front cover there. But obviously on the front cover you've got the lightning, the E lightning. What what's what a what a plane. I love building this. I'm actually in the process of getting some woven patches made because I want to do a group build using the lightnings and uh it'll airfix do a cracking lightning which i'm halfway through building at the moment but also you can you know matchbox they had a lightning out as well back in the day it's hard to believe that, that this plane first flew back in 1957 this was the plane to beat anyways just moving on through opening up um Basically, they're showing you their range. First off, they've they've started with the box arts on one side, and then you have the the planes, the models that are already built. So, for you've got the uh, Gloucester Gladiator there. You've got the De Havilland uh, Tiger Moth with the yellow yellow markings, the Albatross there. You know, there's some really good planes there to build. So this is like like World War One. Moving on, you you start moving into the the aircraft of later of World War Two, and they do help by putting the markings up here, which I think is quite a nice little detail. So, the wings fuselages 1950, 1942 was that there 1918, 1923, and 1947, 1930. So they, they're telling you the the years of when they had the the um, the markings for the RAF or the RFC as it was called back in the day. Moving through, so you've even got the American ones there. They also had their own version there of the Wildcat. Again, some more markings there. Obviously, you won't be seeing the swastika because it was all banned and it isn't, you know, I know some people think that you need it. You don't. You don't need the, that, that emblem on the planes. Moving on through, you're moving on to your jet sort of things now with your MiG-21s, your Hellcat. The Akidao, Ak Akivao, sorry. That's... Um, being released as a vintage classic this year, which would be good to, to, to go. There you go. There's the English Electric Lightning F1A. There's their version of it. And there's the Helldiver. I remember building that, and I wasn't that impressed. It wasn't a very good build, if I don't remember right, if I remember rightly. There you go, number one. That's the thing I like to see we done is the hovercrafts. And you need to bring them back. They look pretty cool. Moving through. You're going on back onto you still on 172 scale here then you have your dogfight doubles and then you have your sky king which is which is their jet range and there you go there's the air france version of the concord then your ships if you've built a ship let me know because i've never built an fx ship to my knowledge i can't remember doing it but i you know it's not my thing anyway ships here you go there's the historical figures they're still back in the range there's the um their modern cars on this one the veteran autos there's plenty in this for you to enjoy the oho gauge range which is basically the armor so that was that was where the size was for that they're redoing them now as 172 scale there's your figures then you had the models which came with an electric motor, so they would actually work apparently. I'd like to see one of these built. I do have one in the stash, but I've never built it. The attack force set, they're worth some money. Keep an eye out for these if you see them, they're worth a few bob. Then you're moving on to your Airfix Motor Race, and there you have your Monte Carlo Raddy and your Bank Circuit, so which is like their scale electrics range. And on the back, they've got their paint by numbers. And you also then have the advert for the uh, Fix Monthly magazine. And on the back, just a few more of their kits, just to uh, round off the the catalogue. And as you see at the bottom there, they've got another James Bond, the Auto Gyro. If anyone's built that, can you let me know? Because I now have one in my stash and I'm thinking of building it. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. There was the Fix catalogue. I hope you're enjoying this series of catalogues. I did a poll and um i think 50 people voted and about 90 percent of you do actually enjoy watching these videos so i'll carry on doing them when i'm fit and ready again for my operation i will start to do more builds and more breakdowns of uh, box reviews i should say than break and uh, breakdowns of kits i've built but until then i'm just going to be filming these catalogs until i get me complete strength back anyways again 
thank you so much for watching if you like the video click like if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and ring that bell and you'll be notified on any new videos any questions any comments put them in the box below and i do reply and i'll see you in the next video cheers